Hi guys. Well, as you can see, I'm not in my garage. It's absolutely freezing in there this morning. I mean, it literally is zero degrees. But there is another reason I'm not in there, and that's because the Batmobile's finished. Okay, I say it's finished. It needs the back lights fitting. But they haven't turned up in the post yet, so I can't really do anything until they turn up. Uh oh, looks like I've got a little helper. Can you see this? Or is it off screen? Meow. Hello. Anyway, getting back to it. So, I'm not in my garage. What I've got to do is I've got to find my next project to make. Now, I got left a comment asking why don't I make something for Dungeons and Dragons? And, well, at the moment, I've got to sell the Batmobile when it's finished because I need the space in my garage. I, need, I can't make another car. I want to make another car, another electric car, but I can't make another electric car until this one's been sold. It can't get sold until it's finished. It can't get finished until the bits arrived. It's one thing after another. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at my next project, which is going to be something small, because it's got to fit on my table while the Batmobile is being sold. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this. Now, just think, you might not be able to see that very well. So what I'll do is I'll put this image, I'll, I'll put it on the video in a minute. Well, uh, now, click, there you go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make that. First thing I have to do, study how I'm going to make it. I look at this picture now for about, I don't know, as long as it takes. And I, I look at all the individual pieces and I don't do it with 3D printer. I don't press a button and go and watch telly while it prints itself. I actually physically make all the bits. So I have to look and think, how am I going to make that? So I'm, I'm just going to study this now, find out, does it need to be flat? Does it need to be curved? How am I going to make this piece? What's the best way of doing that? And when I've got an idea, I'll be off to the shop, getting my material, and then I'm going to make this. Well, let's see how it turns out. Catch you later. Come on, boss, let's go. Well, the Batmobile's finished. I'm just waiting for the neighbour's grandson to turn up at the weekend and he can test drive it for me. So on to the next project. Uh, I'm making a Christmas gift for somebody and what I'm making is the anti-magic shield from Dungeons and Dragons. Although it's, it's going to be an ornament really, but I do want it to be uh, usable just in case this, this thing ever turns up at Comic Con or somebody uses it to, when, they go to the, when they go to play the game. So with that said, it can't be too heavy. I want it to be pretty light, although it's got to be strong. So I found myself some of this material and this is MDF. It's quite thin, but what I intend to do is glue the two pieces together, put a bit of curve on it, put a weight on it, let the glue dry. And once the glue's dry, I should be able to cut it to shape and it should have a nice curve with it. So let's get on with that then. First thing we have to do is cover it with glue. Wow, that glue's so cold it's almost frozen. Now what I need to get that curve is, um, is a shield press and it just so happens that I've got one. Now I just have to leave it to dry. The glue's dried on this piece now, and look at that, proper nice curve. So what I have to do now is draw the shield onto this, and that'll give me an exact size of what 
each piece in the corner, what size it's going to be, and how much space I've got left in the middle to make the domed piece. Once I know how big they're going to be, I'll draw them on my graph paper, and then I can go, it's not easy to say, then I can go in my garage, my freezing cold garage, and cut the pieces out. So, let's get on with that then. Now that I've got these pieces made, I can cut them out and I can stick them onto two, two pieces of wood that I'm going to make them out of. And when I cut round them, I separate the wood and I've got a mirror image of each piece. Next thing I have to do, I've got the top of the shield and the bottom of the shield on one side. I just have to mark the other and then I can cut the base of the sh uh, I can cut the shape of the base of the shield out. The dome that sits in the centre of the shield is going to be made from this. I just have to cut out sand it into a circle and then I'll, I'll make it into a dome on my uh, turning machine. The, the pieces that fit in the corner and the piece that fits around the dome I'm going to make out of this piece. Today, I'm going to carry on making the anti-magic shield. <coughs> I'm going to make the dome for the centre and I'm going to make the ring that goes round the dome. But before I do that, I've just, got some, I've just got a modification to do to this table. This table is fantastic. I made it for when I built my Batmobile. I built all these holes. I made this table and made all these holes in it so I could put my clamps on. The clamps go all the way around. You can clamp material to the table. You can push things up against the clamps as a block. Fantastic. The only problem is, every time I put something down, it falls through the holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to make something that fits into these holes. And then I'm going to carry on with the shield. So you lot go and make a brew and when you come back in five minutes it'll all be done. Well, it's almost two minutes later and I've finished that job now. All these pieces can be removed and I can put my clamps in. Let's get a small one. Put my clamps in. And then put the piece back in and nothing can fall through anymore so I'm dead happy. I've got myself a full table 
and I can put clamps in if I need be. Brilliant. Now I can get on with the magic shield. Of some different colour wood stains and if we look at the picture we can see that it's the light oak that's the centre of the dome should be so I'm going to use this one well now that that's all stained I'm going to leave it to dry and while it's drying I'll get on with the ring that goes around this centre dome yesterday I made the dome for the centre of the shield so today while my machine is still set up I'm going to take um, a piece of this wood, cut it off, draw around it, draw around the, the centre dome and make the piece that fits around the dome. I'm going to use my jigsaw to cut just on the outside of the outer circle and the inside I'm going to leave solid so I can mount it to this backing plate which fits on my machine and then I'll cut the inside on my machine. piece of the wood just broke there so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to glue that and while I'm waiting for the glue to dry I'll get on with some other bits you won't see it when it's finished I've got to cut slots in this thing anyway so I'll just cut one of the slots where that where that crack is if I can get my glue going come on Everything's a problem in this place. See you later. I'm just going to have a quick tidy up. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Now I can carry on. The next thing I'm going to do is make the four corner pieces. I've already got my template. So what I'm going to do is draw around that on this piece of wood, cut it out, and then I'm going to cut the wood in half. So I've got two separate pieces, identical size and shape. And I'm going to glue those pieces to a separate piece of wood, so I've got a recess. And with the recess, I can then put these bars in position. I did some video to, video to say this. It's not easy to say that. I did some video editing this morning and I realised that uh, this episode could end up being a little bit long if I if I'd put everything in the same episode. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to stop here for this video and I'm going to put, I'm going to make this uh, two episodes, three at the most. I think, I think just two, but depends how much footage I've got and what I have to show you. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I really am not sure. Right, anyway. That's it for this episode. Catch you in the next one.